Welcome back to GamecocksOnline.com. I'm joined by head volleyball coach Scott Swanson after a nice way to end the weekend, a 3-1 to victory over Tennessee. Always a tough match against the Volunteers coach, and it was starting to be the same script as Friday night at LSU, come out and win the first set, get blown out in that second set. But today it was a different story. What was kind of that team's mentality that you saw between that second and third set? I just uh, I think they made a mindset switch. Um, they were doing a lot of things to – kind of get us out of where normally you see they were doing a lot of tipping um, some short serving and just we're really unstoppable on the slide most of the day and uh, we started making adjustments we started serving better so they couldn't run it as much um, started picking up the tips and uh, our passing came around so that we could run our medals more um, our medals combined for 18 kills and, and both hit almost 500 so um, you know you're doing something well when you can run your medals and and uh have those one-on-ones then for your outside. So really good team effort uh, after that, especially after that second that second set. We used a lot of different uh, serving subs, blocking subs. You know, um, everybody from Jess Fastine to uh, Abria Epps to Emma to um, you know Furlong and and uh, Alicia. We just we kind of pieced it together, and everybody that came in contributed and and did what they need to do to help us win those next two. And do you see that as a strategy for you guys going forward as you get deeper in the SEC to kind of uh, get whoever you need situationally out there when you have a lot of depth but not anyone that can do everything all at once? Yeah, I, I think it's um, it's kind of a, the nice thing about having a six-rotation right-side hitter in Michaela Shields and several players that can play six rotations as outside hitters. So we don't have to use a lot of DS subs. Um if, if things are rolling and our, our pin hitters are passing the way we need to pass. But it's great to have um, people that can come off the bench and serve short when we need that and then dig a ball. Um, sometimes it's for a blocking sub. You know, today we were trying to block block that slide. Didn't have a lot of success doing it, but um, we tried. Uh, and we have, the, we have the flexibility to do that without running out of subs because of uh, our, our normal rotations. I'm talking with Courtney Kaler. Just now, she had mentioned that it was kind of a mentality thing for the team to get over that kind of storyline of taking the first, losing the second, and kind of not being consistent set to set. As a coach, is is today an example, or is it just kind of upon the players to just make that choice to make this the right story instead of the wrong one? Well, today, um, you know, I was on the bench. I was telling my assistant coaches, I said, you know, the, the first set was really close and uh, could have gone either way. So it, it was already different. You know, we won it, but it was ugly. We didn't play our best. Um, I felt like we learned a lot about what they were going to do, and, and it took us too long in the second set to adjust to it. But uh, it was a little bit different script in that um, we didn't come out and play amazingly well in the first set. We really kind of struggled to win. Set two, we were still struggling, but uh, we figured it out, and – I don't know. I, you know, some of the things I said to them in timeouts or between says was just we have to, we have to start thinking differently if we want to play differently, and we had to put ourselves in a position where, hey, this is fun. This is fun and competitive. Like that's really, I guess, been a theme since the other night. Like we, we need to, we need to enjoy this experience more instead of being stressed out about, oh, we got to win this, we got to do that, we're gonna lose. Like we, it's, it's not about that. It's about play hard all the time, battle for every point. And then you're going to enjoy it a lot more. And you don't have regrets when you look back and say, ah, oh, man, we should have played harder that set or we should have, you know, we should have been more focused or more, have more energy. Um, so we're trying to get them to, to just believe in the process of it, fight hard for every single point and see what happens because most of the time you're going to like what happens. We'll wrap up with this. you got one single match next weekend against Georgia, another very improved, very big team in the SEC. Um, so what do you hope to take through practice this coming week and, and get ready for a big test against the Bulldogs? A lot of respect for the new coaching staff there and uh, what they've been doing with their team. Um, we've already told, we told our team in the locker room, hey, start watching video now. Start studying those outside hitters. They have two freshman outside hitters that are kind of tearing it up. And uh, – I think it's it's one of those things where it's great that we have them at home first, and um, you know we get to prepare for one team this week more than instead of two, like most other teams do. So we put all our efforts into scouting and you know just getting ready for Georgia, and it's uh, I think it's a big match for us. I really do because they are much improved, and they're going to bring a really fast offense, which we're going to have to combat with tough serves and really good probably one-on-one blocking at times and. That's something that uh, 
I think we need we can we can only get better at is our our one on one blocking and making the right moves and getting good slowdowns. So as that gets better, our defense gets better, and it's a it's a work in progress.